tie a bead head hairs here, we're going to start with the tail. And for that we're going to use the guard hairs from the mask of a rabbit. I've cleaned out the under fur and I'm basically just tying this in right at the bend of the hook. You can substitute mallard flank or wood duck flank, uh, but the original calls for the guard hairs off of a, a hair's mask. You can trim off the extra. And just cinch it down. Then you're going to tie in a rib, and in this case we're going to use gold tinsel. You're going to tie that in at the same point that you tied in the tail, right at the bend of the hook. Once that's secure, you can begin dubbing the body. We're going to use natural hair's ear dubbing. And you're going to start with small amounts. You want a tapered body. So begin with a, a thin abdomen and build bulk as you go along the shank of the hook. Add dubbing. And don't worry about fibers protruding from the body. Uh, what doesn't get caught by the tinsel rib will stick out and actually give the, the fly a, an extra buggy appearance. Do one more group of dubbing. Stop at about the 60% mark. Once you get to that point, Begin wrapping your gold tinsel. Nice even wraps. About three to four along the length of the body and then tie it down. And trim off the axis. At this point you tie in your wing case, which we're going to use the fibers from a turkey tail feather. And I usually clip about ten, about six to ten fibers and tie them in right at the thorax. At this point you build the bulk of the fly with more dubbing, but in order to do this don't lump large clumps of dubbing onto your thread. Uh, not only is it difficult to secure to the hook, but it doesn't um, always stay bound when you fish the fly. It often comes unraveled. So use smaller amounts, just make more wraps in the thorax area and you just want to build a small small body we'll do one more group and then stop with your thread right behind the bead of the fly. Now you can fold the wing case over the thorax and secure it right behind the bead. Give it three or four good solid wraps to secure it. Cut off the extra and use your whip finish tool to finish the fly. Here's your nymph.